guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's PCT product demo, we are talking about the LC Slicer made by Lucy Clay Tools. Now this is a cane slicer on the grandest scales. It's a really beautiful machine. I'll show you a little bit about it in a second. Now, um, we've talked about the Lucy Clay Tools before, and they make very high-end um, tools that are strong and built really well. Um, this one was uh, sent to me by Diane Bruce of Van Island Jewels on Etsy.com and um, she is our Canadian distributor but she ships worldwide and you'll want to check her out. But this slicer is really neat. It's for slicing polymer clay canes whether they are small little um, square canes or round canes and it will also do really large canes like this um, uh, sweater uh, Christmas sweater cane that we did back in, uh, a few months ago. Now um, let me just show you how this slicer works and then I'll show you a few more things. Now the okay so it's got a platform at the bottom here that slides back and forth um, and you move that by turning the dial here and so you can move your cane forward just little tiny bits at a time or in larger sections and cut whatever slice that you want so you have control over that and then the arm here there's a little red dial or a little red stopper at the back here that you can re uh, open up and it it's just like a safety um, knob and it will keep the blade um, from moving and then you can move it up and down here and cut against the surface. Now this has got a protective um, little shield on it which I can take off right now and I actually just store mine up here on the top of the um, machine so I don't lose it and then we can cut our canes. Now this is a super super sharp blade and it's very stiff so it works beautifully for cutting through your canes. Now um, it's like I said it's really well built, it's strong. It came in a box that um, basically was all apart. I actually had to take about an hour to put together um, and there was you have to um, put the grid onto the plate. It's like a, a big sticker. You stick it on there. You have to attach, um, you have to bolt everything down and it takes a bit of uh, putting together but there's uh, some instructions there and that will help you figure it out. Um, and you have to bolt it all together. It's not very hard but it's time consuming. Then uh, what you do is you figure out the size of your cane. I'm going to lock this put the pin out and keep it up higher so that I can um, have some room here to work and I'll just put my cane in back against the plate. Now I'll need to move it out. I'm just going to stick it down really well. I'm doing this more awkwardly than normal because I'm trying to keep my hands out, the, out of your view. Then I've got to figure out where I want to cut it so I'm just going to um, just figure out where the first cut is going to be so I have to move it forward a bit. And that's the only thing that I, I think if I would want to change anything, I'd want one of um, like a quick release that could push it a big distance. You know, like when you use like a caulking gun and you can push that button down and you can slide it right up and then you can squeeze the thing to get it to do the little steps. If they had something like that on here that you didn't have to crank it the whole time, <laughs> that would be nice. But other than that, this is good. So I've got it figured out where I can do my first slice. And then I'm just going to push down and take a slice. Now, if I want to do a super thin, super thin slice, what I'm going to do is just crank it forward, just one turn, and then press it down. Sorry, hopefully my arm's not in the way. And look at how thin this is. This is like paper, paper thin. I've just got a little tiny. Um, all right, I've got a like a bone folder here and it is so so thin and so perfectly um, even it's just beautiful 
Now this was a super old cane from my tribal, I, I believe it was called a tribal cane um, tutorial. And uh, this cane has probably been sitting in my drawer for mm, a couple of years now at least. And it was slicing really beautifully. So I'm just going to take one turn forward and slice it again. It's just paper, paper thin. Just use my folder so I can pop it out of there. So you can see it works really beautifully. Now it works also on the round slices, on the larger ones. You'd have to adjust this one again to do this larger one. So let's see. I'll get this out of the way and see if this is going to fit in here. To lift this up. As you can see, it'll even take the really, really large canes. And I'm going to need to move that back a bit because that'll be quite thick. Though the first slice is always a little bit off because you've got to get the whole thing square. So this may or may not be a perfect slice, but I wanted to show you how it'll go right through a tall whoop, slice like that. So now what we can do, the first one has got a few holes in it because it wasn't perfect. And then we'll move it forward a couple and then take another slice. All the way down. Perfect. Now this machine is not cheap, but it's sort of like one of those Cadillacs or Mercedes. It's so beautifully made and so perfect. I mean, look at that huge slice. I could not slice this very easily. Certainly not by hand. I tried, <laughs> trust me. I had all sorts of things trying to figure out how to do it by hand and to, and you couldn't get it anywhere near that uh, thin. But what I'm just trying to say is this won't be in everybody's price range, but if you do anything professionally or if you um, just really love to have the best tools, this is a beautiful um, machine and you'll want to check it out. It's easy to use. Um, it's sturdy and does a beautiful, beautiful job. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Do make sure to go check out uh, Diane Bruce's um, site on Etsy. It's called Van Island Jewels. And um, if you've got any other suggestions for future tutorials, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. And if you've got questions about polymer clay that you need answers for, there is a pretty good chance that we've already done a video on it. So make sure to um, make a good search and see if you can find what you need. And if you don't, then leave us a comment and uh, for a, few, a suggestion for a future video so that maybe we can make a video for you on that. All right, so we'll see you next time and bye for now.